Sherwood. Again, Wolves chucking bodies forward as the cross comes in. Again, it's in and around the box. Balls for Ince. Claims of a penalty by Brown, but then he goes in anyway. And Wolves have equalised 15 minutes from time in the playoff semi final first leg. The usual suspects are over it. Naylor, Irwin is in there as well. Naylor strikes it. It's there. 2 1. Wolves have an advantage to go into the second leg with five minutes of normal time to play. Not the best free kick that Lee, Lee Naylor has ever struck, but it's found its way through to the back of the net. Hello and welcome to the Old Golden Black for this preview of the Reading game on Saturday, live on Sky Harpers 5. I hope you're all keeping safe in the snow. Hopefully the game should be on, although it's just started snowing again here. Um, but as I said yesterday in my video about Ruben Neves, it's a massive game and Wolves will want it on because a home game before two difficult away fixtures at Leeds and Villa. It's you know it's really important that we get back to winning ways after three games without a win. And particularly the performance on Saturday, I think the players have been desperate to show that they are real contenders and they're going to be ready and fighting on Saturday for that game. Uh, and it couldn't come against better opposition, really. Reading have been bang average and really out of form for the last couple of months since we played them back in November, where in that game they probably had the best of the game and they were the, I think, 2-0 to Wolves, really flattered Wolves, to be honest, because Reading were the better team. They had lots and lots of chances in that game and John Ruddy made a couple of outstanding saves to win Wolves that match. And since then they've really gone off the boil they've only won one of their last 14 games they're four points above the relegation zone and Japstam is under a lot of pressure at the moment considering where they were last season and losing out on a penalty shootout in the playoff final to Huddersfield they've really had a tough season this season and they've got a few tricky fixtures after Wolves as well so they're going to be really desperate to get something out of this game as well and of course at this stage of the season I've said it a few times Every team has got something to play for and every game is a massive game. Reading have also got a long list of injuries. Gareth McCleary, Paul McShane and Jordan Abita are names that stand out for them uh, have been important players that will be missing. And as for the Wolves team, I, w I do expect there to be a number of changes, I think, tomorrow. Uh, to be honest, I can't see Bonatini starting as he didn't play to his potential, I don't think, on Saturday. He had a really off game. Costa as well is another question mark. He didn't turn up really in the first half and the first 15 minutes of the second half that, that he was on. So I expect there to be changes in that front line as well. Jota, I expect, will come in for Bonatini. And then it's a question as, does Afobi get his first chance to start a game? I think probably if Nuno is going to give him a start, it will be tomorrow uh, because of the opposition that we're playing. And I think he needs a, a little bit of a run out. If a phobia is going to be part of our team for the rest of the season, he's got to start and he's got to play an hour or so on Saturday. I think there's also a chance that there could be some changes at the back. I think we've seen Connor Cody over the last couple of games struggle against big strikers. Uh, Smith for QPR and Mitrovic last week for Fulham. Perhaps we might see Bolly being moved into that central role to deal with the physical threat that Bodvarsson might give. I mean, we didn't see great play from Bodvarsson last season, but he seems to have played a little bit better recently for Reading and grabbed a goal last week as well. There could well be a question mark over Bennett as well. He was at fault for one of the goals, certainly, on Saturday. We also haven't seen Danny Bart or Roderick Miranda for a very long time, so perhaps mixing it up and keeping it fresh at the back may be an option for Nuno. But all in all, this week is very, very important in terms of the season. If we can pick up maximum points from all these three games, you'd certainly say that we were back on track. All three games on Sky as well, which over this season, most of the time, apart from Saturday, we played better on Sky than we have done when we haven't been. Most of our games now for the rest of the season are on Sky as well, so that could be another point to make. Um, let me know what you think of tomorrow's game. Do you think there'll be wide changes or do you think there'll just be a little bit of tinkering to keep the players fresh for this crucial week don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to comment as well your thoughts see you